Imagine a child's face overtaken by a massive red tumor. Not cancer, but a giant hemangioma, threatening their vision, breathing, and even their smile. Surgery isn't just about saving appearance. It's about saving life, restoring hope, and giving back a childhood stolen by this rare condition giant. Facial hemangiomas are rare, but significant vascular tumors that usually appear during infancy and early childhood. These benign tumors are made up of an abnormal buildup of blood vessels. And while they are not cancerous, their size and location on the face can create major functional and psychological challenges. Most hemangiomas are small, grow for a few months, and eventually shrink over time. But giant ones can be aggressive, disfiguring, and potentially life-threatening if they block vital structures like the eyes, nose, or airway. Parents often notice a red or bluish swelling on the child's face shortly after birth, which expands rapidly within the first year. The massive size and vascular nature make treatment extremely complex, requiring a multidisciplinary team of pediatric surgeons, plastic surgeons, and anesthesiologists. Beyond the physical impact, these lesions can also cause severe emotional distress to families as the child faces social stigma and functional impairment. Understanding the origin, growth pattern, and complications of giant facial hemangiomas is the first step in preparing for surgical treatment. These tumors may bleed easily, ulcerate, or interfere with feeding and breathing, making timely intervention essential. Although medical therapy with beta blockers like propranolol has revolutionized hemangioma care, giant cases often fail conservative management and require surgery. Pre-surgical assessment and planning surgery for giant facial hemangiomas requires meticulous preoperative planning. Since these tumors are highly vascular, bleeding is the greatest concern and detailed imaging with MRI or CT angiography is performed to map out blood supply. Pediatricians, dermatologists, and surgeons work together to decide if the lesion can be partially treated with medications before surgery to reduce size. In some cases, embolization, a procedure to block blood vessels feeding the tumor, is performed a few days prior to surgery to minimize intraoperative bleeding. The child's overall health, hemoglobin levels, and nutritional status are carefully evaluated to withstand the stress of surgery. Anesthetic planning is equally critical, as airway management may be complicated if the hemangioma extends into the mouth or neck. Families are counseled extensively about the risks, including possible scarring, facial nerve injury, and incomplete removal. Since these lesions often overlap with critical facial structures like the lips, eyelids, or nose, the goal of surgery is not only to remove the tumor, but also to restore appearance and function. Photographs and 3D models are sometimes used to plan reconstructive steps. Preoperative counseling also prepares parents for stage surgeries, as giant hemangiomas may require multiple procedures to achieve both safety and cosmetic satisfaction. The surgical procedure during the surgical procedure, the child is placed under general anesthesia, and every step is carried out with precision to minimize blood loss and preserve facial structures. Surgeons usually make incisions along natural skin folds or hidden areas to reduce visible scarring. The hemangioma is carefully dissected away from surrounding tissues, with constant attention to blood vessels feeding the tumor. Advanced surgical tools such as cautery devices, harmonic scalpels, or laser-assisted systems may be used to control bleeding. In very large tumors, surgeons may choose staged excision, removing parts of the hemangioma in phases to prevent excessive blood loss and reduce risk to vital structures. Once the tumor is removed, reconstructive procedures such as skin grafting, local flaps, or tissue expansion may be needed to restore normal facial appearance. Special care is taken to protect nerves responsible for facial expressions, as injury could cause long-term functional problems. The length of surgery varies depending on the size and complexity of the hemangioma, often lasting several hours. Throughout the procedure, Anesthesiologists closely monitor the child's vital signs, ensuring stable oxygen levels, blood pressure, and adequate fluid replacement. The surgical team also prepares for emergency situations such as massive bleeding or airway compromise. 
post-surgical care, and recovery after surgery. The child is monitored in a pediatric intensive care unit for at least 24 to 48 hours to watch for complications such as bleeding, infection, or airway swelling. Pain control is managed carefully with medications appropriate for children, while antibiotics may be given to reduce infection risk. Dressings are applied to protect the surgical site, and parents are taught how to care for wounds at home. Regular follow-up is essential, as healing takes time and multiple procedures may be needed for the best cosmetic and functional outcome. Swelling and bruising are common initially, but gradually improve over weeks. If reconstructive surgery was performed, careful monitoring of graft or flap survival is crucial. In some cases, speech therapy or feeding support is necessary if the tumor previously affected the mouth or jaw. Emotional recovery is equally important, as children with visible facial differences often face psychological challenges. Child psychologists and support groups may play a role in building confidence and self-esteem after surgery. Long-term monitoring is important because hemangiomas, although removed surgically, can sometimes recur or leave residual deformities requiring secondary corrections. With proper care, most children recover well and experience dramatic improvements in both function and appearance. Outcomes and future perspectives The outcomes of giant facial hemangioma surgery are generally positive when managed by an experienced team, though challenges remain. Successful removal can restore normal breathing, vision, and feeding, while also greatly improving facial appearance and reducing social stigma. Modern surgical techniques and reconstructive strategies ensure that scarring is minimized and facial harmony is preserved as much as possible. However, Complete elimination of the tumor is not always possible, and some children may require secondary procedures as they grow. Advances in laser therapy, endoscopic surgery, and regenerative medicine are opening new possibilities for less invasive and more effective treatments. Propranolol and other targeted medications are also being studied to shrink hemangiomas before or after surgery, reducing the need for extensive operations. The future holds promise with tissue engineering and stem cell research, which may one day allow surgeons to replace lost tissue with biologically compatible grafts that grow with the child. Beyond the medical field, raising awareness about hemangiomas helps reduce stigma and promotes early diagnosis and treatment. Ultimately, giant facial hemangioma surgery is not just about removing a tumor. It is about restoring a child's quality of life, confidence, and ability to thrive socially and emotionally.